Hello friends, we are in lecture 10 and today uh, we will be uh, doing something about uh, rotating an object. You know that uh, earlier I uh, mm, rotated some point, okay? point was rotated, point was an ob object. So any other object too can be rotated. So we start with rotating, suppose a simple thing is a circle eh? and create some pattern just to highlight that. So I uh, start calculator and uh, uh, this is the calculator and then I first fix up a circle. Now, a circle can be drawn by writing down its equation we have seen earlier. But today, another way of drawing the circle also we will learn, that is the circle commands, C-I-R-C-L-E, circle. What you do is, you specify the <coughs> center of the circle and it's ready. So, center of the circle, suppose I will make it at 0 0.20. So, I give the point as 2 comma 0. Then, I say about its radius. So, what? And you see a circle has been drawn. And also, it will in return also give you the equation of the circle. So, another way of uh, drawing a circle is just use this circle command where this first uh, thing is the coordinate of the center, comma, the radius, as simple as that. So, this is one circle I have drawn and I will draw another circle, okay, in the same way. So, that is the thing. Now, I will draw another circle, say, uh, circle, circle, uh, the center of the circle, suppose I decide it will be at the coordinate of 4, 0. So, circle, coordinate, 4, comma, 0 and comma, its radius. Radius this time, suppose I select it is 0 0.5. That's all. So, another circle has been drawn. Clear? <clears throat> now, I will rotate this circle about origin like this. I will also rotate this circle about the same origin in the anti-clockwise direction. And uh, by what angle I will rotate, uh, that will be decided by the slider value. So, I create a slider and the slider value I will suppose uh, go to its uh, settings and select uh, the minimum value of the slider to be say 1 to say some big numbers I write but it does not matter whatever number you want to write it is suppose I write 4 0. 0 with an increment of 1. Okay? So, this is the slider I have defined. Now, I will rotate this circle, big circle here, whose center is at 2 comma 0 uh, around the origin. So, you recall that rotate comment is like this. Rotate, then you have to write what thing you want to rotate. In this case, it's a circle and then comma by what angle you want to rotate, you have to rotate that and then comma about which point you want to rotate, that is the thing. So, I, I write that and uh, since uh, I will vary this uh, variable, there will be a lot of circles drawn around the around the origin as you rotate it. So, it must be a sequence, okay? CQN sequence. 
and then I will write uh, rotate rotate whom you want to rotate I want to rotate this circle and uh, which has been already given a name small c so write small c comma by what angle we are using it for quite some time now so you write by angle 2 pi uh, then uh, say k divided by a is not k divided by a is the angle and uh, k will be the variable and comma what about what point about origin so i write the coordinate of the point of the origin that's all then you have to uh, write this variable k a is already defined from this slider so comma comma you have to write k comma one comma a comma one you know? <coughs> that's all so it will <coughs> produce a sequence of point why it has not produced so the value of a is uh, less if you put some values you can see depending upon the value of eight eight circles have been drawn here <coughs> clear so <coughs> Uh, I have rotated a circle about origin like this. You could rotate this circle about any other point you could like. Um, it is obvious uh, that uh, is your, you can try it uh, sometime later on your own. Now, <clears throat> after I have done it, <clears throat> I will also try to rotate this circle D, whose name is small d, around origin. I will try to rotate this circle around the origin. So it looks like uh, <clears throat> its instruction <coughs> will be same as this. So you just duplicate the input, duplicate the input. Here it was uh, rotate, but this time it is not small c, but I would like to rotate this circle d circle d so i just edit a bit and other things remain same and you see uh, there are one two three four five six seven eight circles are produced is not it like that and uh, uh, if you vary a you see you can uh, produce patterns like this, make it much larger, not a bad pattern, it's a good pattern. And uh, you can play with the value of A, make it dynamic. So you can have a very pleasing uh, and aesthetic uh, pattern produced as you change the value of A. Is not it is good? So you can try, you can go on adding uh, more, more circles and uh, make it a dynamic color uh, that I will just do for once. Uh, okay, let us forget that. You know dynamic color if you want to produce depending upon the value of A. You go to the color of this L1, color of this L2 and HSL you select and all this stuff you can do. So this is about the sun. Okay, very good. I will hide them. Okay. So this is the uh, thing. Now I will uh, try to make an object uh, which will be so a uh, circle business. I all hide. Now. Uh, I want to draw a regular polygon and would like to rotate it about say origin in the same way instead of circle it will be a polygon 
now also my uh, objective here to uh, tell you how to draw a regular polygon as i told you as you type instructions here even if you are not accustomed with uh, all the available instructions which is not uh, humanly possible but nonetheless you can always type that and you can verify yourself whether really such a thing exists for example i will uh, draw a polygon a regular polygon of uh of side say n n side so i create a slider first and once again i edit this slider as uh, n equal to say uh three regular polygon i will draw it starts with a triangle and maybe you make it a big number say 30 okay okay so so and with an increment of one you do like that so uh, this slider will uh, decide about the number of sides of the polygon now coming to the instruction of polygon you simply type polygon polygon the moment you uh, uh, type polygon you can uh, i am so sorry something has gone wrong uh, so you write polygon then uh, put a first bracket and here you have to write down the description of the polygon uh, and it is also very simple it is like this polygon means uh, you have to specify one side of the polygon okay a line segment that will be one side of the polygon and then uh, you have to uh, write the number of sides that's all so actually you have to specify the coordinates of two points of a side of a polygon polygon Comma the number of sides. For example, I decide that okay, this is done. Okay, uh, this will cross it out. I don't need it. So I will write polygon one side. Suppose I say it will be between minus one zero to one zero. Let me write. Then it would be much clear. So two endpoints of a side you specify. and the points are specified by their coordinates so you write say uh, minus 1 0 okay then comma the other point say 1 comma 0 see it has produced a line segment okay that is the one side of the polygon and then comma comma here come back comma the number of sides and number of sides i would like to vary you could write if you write 5 it will draw a pentagon but i would like to vary that number of sides so that's why i created a slider and i will write simply a and you see uh, now the value of n is set to 3 and you get a regular triangle and of course uh, you can vary n uh, to see that uh, more and more polygons are created is not it very simple okay suppose five uh, this side is so that's uh, it so creation of polygon is very simple and in returns it gives you uh, uh, gives you the name of this polygon as poly1 okay now this poly1 i want to rotate this polygon i want to rotate say um about uh, the origin i will try to rotate and like the circle i did uh, because uh, it will take much more time so i will uh, create another poly polygon here just like the circle 
whatever I do. I will create another polygon, uh, say whose sides uh, will be a little less and, and I just copy this instruction, duplicate input and here I write its point will be I will create this polygon at say um, uh, 2 comma 0 okay comma comma 2 comma 0 and then comma 2.5 2.5 and a polygon has been created a small polygon is not with number of sides decided by this therefore this is uh, this has also created a polygon and the uh, the name of this object is poly2 now i will rotate uh, this uh, poly1 and poly2 about say origin okay so uh, this i could copy from this uh, here and uh, I think let us do that and we can suppose uh, here you uh, duplicate input here you get this one but it was a circle but I will change this name C to poly1 okay poly1 that's all and also i uh, copy now this instruction here uh, duplicate input and here i write poly2 poly2 and uh, this is how it has been created okay so if you vary a now is it it is angle yeah if you vary in now it will also create a very beautiful pattern as you can see and this blue light if it disturbs you uh, i mean like that if it is spoiling the game you can always uh, hide this poly 1 and poly 2 and it will be a beautiful pattern will be created you can go on adding uh, more polygons to create uh, more beautiful and aesthetic patterns as you like. So today I stop uh, lecture 10 here and I hope you have enjoyed this video. So in our earlier lectures we knew how to rotate a coin. Now we have learned how to rotate an object. What is an object? Object could be anything. It could be a line segment, it could be a circle, it could be a polygon, regular or non-regular, whatever it is. But you can create nice patterns out of uh, this. Hope you have enjoyed uh, this lecture. I stop here for now. Have a good day. Thank you for watching.